Who? Lost is getting support? Yep. It's basically Liu, Barco, and Floco. That's nice. The original Trinity. They all got upgraded too. Hmm. They should really unban Barkle in all honesty. It's honestly 50-50 since players are still using are using Barkle or Val as a starter. I guess. I Have don't know. I feel like they should no, just free no, him up. No, literally, because in Japan, they decided they decided to say screw it, and actually ran, actually ran four ball girls in the Sentry Guard decks. Hmm. It's well, that's pretty, true. It's, it would it's, give, it's, no, it would give an advantage like to Sentry Guard. Like you won't believe it. It's pretty nasty that that build. Yeah. Anyway, it looks like uh, it look looks like the, our player of the ARG Matt decided to put back uh, decided to put back three cards. Mhm. Mm while the guy of the railgun map puts back, I guess, two cards. Yeah. Hmm. But what decks are they playing today? We will not know. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what decks they could be using even. Oh yeah. Meanwhile, our, we also have our friends who's at who has, who's at uh, Team League Atlanta right now. So far, they seem to be at two and one. Mhm. Mm so that's that's uh, another short news. Okay, looks like uh, looks like the player of the railgun mat rolled a six, so he's obviously going for go first. The question is, what deck do you play? Because I know like about well, last week you played mid colony. Oh, so it's oh, gonna be Glendios uh, versus Revengers. Oh man, what a classic matchup right here. But interesting, that he's playing Glendios today. Yeah. Does he get nothing off the top five? No. Well, we'll see. It's happened to me before. He, I've gotten all five reverse units. That would be a surprise. Okay, so you got a Rune really Magician off the top five. Mm -hmm. Not a bad start. Could be a good 7k to ride. Question yeah. is, is it worth it? Well, I guess it's kind of worth it since he doesn't have any counter blast to use. Yeah. So the question is, will you ride it though? I mean, it's a great one. So, and yes, yeah, he, he does will. have to ride it. Alright, and then now it's the probably, Ranger player. He probably had, like, the Ranger does the something. standard Dorant ride and goes to the attack. Tragic's another Dorant for future. For, which is, I guess, somewhat decent timing because those things are pretty useful early. Yeah. Alright, he goes for the skill again. That's two reverses down. And what will he get? He and gets, he gets a Omega Glendios. Glendios. That's a sprit, that's, he better pray to God. That's the Glendios he needed. Yeah. <sighs> but man, but man, two Glendios players back to back. I did yeah, not see I'm that. Surprised. I did not see that coming. God, what is up with everyone playing Glendios? For last, I, yeah, last it's week, everyone's it's still a popular deck. Last week, everyone's was playing Chaos. Oh, looks like the guy chose to ride into a Photon. That's very painful. And, and calls the the best six K in the deck. It's a, I thought it was a seven. It's a six. Yes, yeah, a six. Aw. There's a reason why it should be at six though. Yeah, I mean, if it were a seven, it'd be unfair. It'd be ridiculous. And but that is a one to pass. And he takes the crit does trigger. Get it. That then, is two damage down. Oh my god, I still can't see the damage. However. Hmm, it's probably thinking of what to add to his hand off top five, and he does not get a reverse, it seems. Actually, no, it should be a Avenger player's turn. Oh, wait. Oh, no, yeah, right, yeah the grid one. Alright. He chooses to ride McCart. Mm. And he just goes straight for an attack. No rear guards called. Well, of course. Probably a smart he play. Check, he checks the Masquerade. Mm. Back to the Glendy player. Now, will he chicken it up somewhere? I mean, it's at a good position to do it. Tetsuki can still use Warline skill. Mm -hmm. If he, ha or if, Well, then he has to have the reverse units for that. Let's see if he yeah. has any. And, uh, and it seems the chicken... Nope. No. He's going straight into the Glendios. Glendios. No skill needed. Goes into an attack to pressure. He the Ranger player perfect guards. That's a little bit early for a perfect guard. Whoa. But he gets a taboo and a crit, so well, two good it, drive it's checks. A, well, that was a safe timing perfect guard. The question is whether or not he's, this is the reason why he did it so so he could get Legion fuel for later. Yeah. Which like so. The question is, the question is, is he, he is strutting? He's gonna go into an Neurogeyser. Classic plays right there. Mm-hmm. Simple bread and butter of a deck. Alright, he calls it dark. Not enough kind of to use it though. Well, no. He, oh, yeah, technically still no, I guess. Hmm, looks and he, he couldn't even retire anything if he wanted to. Looks like he's going for a classic vanilla retire too. No. Mm. Yeah. Classic retire two. Flip face off, soul blast one, check top two. So plus, he gets five, plus five. And yeah, 31. Right, so that's a 31. 
So a solid 31 to the Vanguard. Let's hope his drive track looks better since seen, since he has since he was forced Ooh, to check that trigger. Anyway. Let's see, uh, draw trigger. All right, we're getting somewhere. That hand built that the hand build up. Yeah. Mmm, but Mordred, not a good time at the moment. Yeah. Hopefully this guy has another cart in hand. If not, then it's going to be a really hard recovery. Yeah. Then again, even then, Legion this early, it's also still bad regardless. Yeah, I'd rather be strutting, especially with only one card on board. That's a free Diablo. He literally has a free Diablo if he wanted to. Well, that's if, well, that's if the that's if the reverse player catches on. I mean, well, no, because if he brings up Diablo, he retires three units. No, I'm saying like, that's if he, that's if he doesn't, that's if uh, the reverse player doesn't catch on that on that play. Yeah. What is he using exactly? This, this grade one. Oh, yeah, oh, you're right, the hit hat. All right, the hit hat. And he has a Leopold to his hand off that. All right, his hand looks pretty healthy. He go, he calls a uh, Blasted Dark Abyss no to, to kill that card. I think he's, yeah, just going to simply go out for a Legion attack here. Doran yeah. and a Dark. Go for the unflip. Mm-hmm. The question is, is he, is he going to actually call the... Call one, one or two more cards. I think what the Glendios player is doing oh, is. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he calls. He calls a draw, draw trigger. A draw trigger. I, I think what the Glendios player was trying to do was conserve grade oh, threes for a world line. He's going for the secret. Well, I don't think he can even use world line now. What do you mean? He, world line stops once he hits grade three. I mean world end. Oh, world end. No, the stride. I think he was stockpiling grade threes for that. Hmm, that's gonna look interesting. Which is going to go off first, the world's end or him? <laughs> yeah. Oh, but there is one downside to this. What? Since he doesn't have a rear guard, since he doesn't, since he's missing one rear guard, he's forced to retire either an attacker or a booster for the other column. Yeah. Not, not to, not, not a great start, but can't be helped if he really feels the need to save cards. Mhm. Mm At this point, I would probably, yeah, yep. seems obvious what he's gonna do. Wow, he hits a double crit. Yeah. That means his bonus is at twenty twenty one thousand. Mhm. Mm uh, that's gonna suck. That too. That too. The pass. <laughs> he, yeah. The Avenger player bears sack super hard. Oh, oh, only one crit. Oh, well, and he can't even no, hit that. can. He was putting the triggers on that. How many triggers? He has a total of two Three tri triggers. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Yeah, man. That, do that double crit defense sure hurt him a lot. Yeah. But now he's at his five damage mark. So he could go But for the question game. is, can he actually do the play? That's the bigger question. Yeah, that's a really big question right here. Because he, he needs at least one through the stride and five reverse units in total for a full-blown lock. Mm-hmm. Or at least four and one photon, or three and two photons. Regardless, it's giving one hard lock. Yeah. Because he wasn't really calling any regards. He was just kind of getting great threes with his booster. Oh man. We got one week playing Chaos Breaker, and now another week of playing Zigondios. What's going to be next? Mhm. Mm Ooh. It's definitely a lot of thinking happening here. He's definitely debating which play is more is more likely to happen. Mm-hmm. With only one rear guard, I mean it's not much you can do as a Glendius player. Isn't Universe GB two? The the stride? Actually just actually honestly kind of two on a flip. Alright. So he so he, he does I don't think I don't believe it's G B two. Yeah. Cause remember, uh Glendios came out during Fighters Collection and we didn't get the G B two ruling until G until G set four. Alright. Or not ruling, more like the mark of G B two. I mean oh, there's even new shots that say G B three, which actually makes more sense now. Thank yeah. God. Oh, man, 
He is definitely. Man, it's like a slow play right here. Oh man, he's really stalling this out. Yeah. <sighs> but man. So what's your opinion? So, do you think Grand Blue's gonna be a comeback in the next set? Oh, definitely. Grand Blue's gonna be really good. I heard. I heard now they're more. I heard they they act they act, they act more like a better version of the old grapplers now. Yeah. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Cause now they now they call during battle. <laughs> yeah, they get to do more of a rushy, almost like um, Spike Brothers. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty hilarious. Plus all the ghosty cards. That's true too. Have you seen Have you seen this ghosty stride? I love all the ghosties. <laughs> the ghosties are always adorable, and have, I'm not disappointed from this set. Have you seen Mick? No, I oh, haven't seen Mick. Yet. Oh, there we go. He we gotta play. He calls we out. Have, he, we have confirmation. He calls out Cradle to go for a one single lock. If you actually want Mega Lock, so I'll actually kind of laugh. Oh, is he? Ooh. No, he he doesn't have the universe. Oh, no, he's going for call, calls. Oh, he's just calling cards now. Yeah. I mean, goes for a calling maker in that in that interesting position. Yeah. I guess that means. I guess that means you could easily tell he kind of has Rubidium in hand. He's going for a Ruby Magician and gets uh, two reverse units back in hand. Uh huh. So I think it's a, I think it's a pretty strong play right there. Hmm. Interesting. I guess now he's actually stockpiling reverse units now. Yeah, he's gonna try and probably universe for the next turn. Add yep. two in hand. Wait. Wait, not universe. Uh, Omega loop. Omega loop. That's what it's called. Oh man, it's in way too many chaos breaker players. Yeah. We're still only in the game one though. This game's been going by very slowly. Well, this isn't a, this isn't the first case of slow play. Yeah. Triple drive or twin drive first check colony, and a taboo. Video. Or that's no, that's taboo. Well, it's. Taboo Star Vader Rubidium. Oh. It goes either way. <laughs> oh, alright. So, yeah, now he has a target for the. But sadly, the Comic cannot attack. Like, that can't be helped. Sacrifice has to be made. But still, Cra uh, Cradle can attack. Yep. For a solid 20, I believe. Uh huh. No, it has a booster. So, let's see, 15 plus 6, out oh, 21, I guess. Yep. Well, I man, that's on point. With the numbers? Yeah, 21k column, though. Mm -hmm. I still remember the time I wanted to make a Glendios deck, only because I thought it was interesting. It is an interesting deck. It has a win condition, other than 6 damage. And that and the fact that it's a beat, as like a, as a beat. It has expedit. many different playstyles. You could either play it, it fits your playstyle. I, I just like the fact that you actually search cards and go for a beatdown. Mm -hmm. That's what I was able to enjoy about it. Yeah, because there's a beatdown version, a control version, and a tempo. <laughs> I think he's going in for some striding right now. Mm. Diablo is going to literally do nothing. No, nah, the, yeah, Diablo's definitely not going to try to go into it right now. This is my doing the stride deck. He can at least do. He can at least stall out. Yeah. Oh. Who's that? They're, oh man, this guy's going deep. What card is that? That's a aura guys are doomed. Oh, I don't think I've seen many people use that. It's because it's really bad. What does it do? <laughs> you can blast one persona G persona uh G persona blast an aura geyser and retire three units. That's not too bad. No, you retire three of your own units. Oh, and then what? You, you check top two for each grade one or lower card is checked. You retire two units. You retire as many units that are checked, and then uh, and then when you have three or more orgasms in your in face of the stride deck, you get a crit. All right. In other words, a really bad card unless you do it. Okay, there's one pop, and nope, just one pop, and now it's a crit online. All right, that's okay. No, it's really bad unless you can use it in the right deck. Like the only decks that actually use it efficiently are only Claret Sword and the uh, and the G and the G Diablo deck. Yeah. Only because uh, G Diablo has Charon, and with the upcoming set and, and with the upcoming G set six, Claret Sword will have a stand trigger. I'm actually more surprised than anything he would go into that now, being that we saw him drive check the taboo. 
Like well, that was just one tab boot. Well, I think he only did that because he realized that he has like some because because the thing is that Diablo's a much more stronger finisher either way. Yeah. But he rather used that just to whiff it off. Mhm. Mm I'm surprised he is running that though. Pretty odd for a really odd choice. It's a very interesting tech, I'd say. It's like I have tested that card many times. It's not worth running unless you could actually understand how to like effectively use it. Mm. Mm, so now it's the Glendios player's turn. The options are literally infinite <laughs> at yeah. this point. Depending on what depending on what you could do. Oh actually, I guess it's technically one play you could possibly do, but that's if he has enough reverse units. She actually no even then, you only get like up to two locks max. Yeah. Or at least two Omega locks unless he literally stacks his entire board. <laughs> that's true. Oh god. God oh, man, players gotta stop playing slow, man. Yeah. Definitely a lot of slow play on the Glendios' part, trying to bid for time. The irony is that this isn't his first time slow playing. Mm -hmm. He slow played. He slow played the crap out of the Great Nature player last week. Oh yeah. Poor man. He got stun looped for days. <laughs> That's the one. Mm. That's one thing I hate may about that, this game. May that man rest in peace. <laughs> so, slow play. This just ruins the game. It takes like it dries it out. I don't oh. feel like much is happening. Oh, there you go. He goes in for a classic. He goes in for a lock. Mm -hmm. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. Now he's gonna spend another five minutes wondering what to do. This is still game one, isn't it? This is yeah. This is still god. only game one. Oh my god! Yeah. This, this guy's gonna be. This, at, the rate, at the rate he's going, he's gonna be notorious for round for for round for round one time. Yeah. Uh. But it can't be helped if you don't know what to do. That's when players start playing dirty. Mhm. Mm oh. And he does call another reverse. For what seems to be a little to no reason. Nah, no, it's probably he's probably going he's probably keeping that there for a taboo. Yeah. He hits a heel trigger. Yeesh. That twenty one K call him over again. Yep, and Yeesh. now it's gonna be Yeah, twenty one. He's probably he's probably trying to focus using the skill at this point. Mm-hmm. He must be really stocking up for that world's end. Oh, yeah. there we go. He got a cradle. Oh man. The oh. best part What's is the I know he still has one more calling to make in hand, so he has a Ruin Magician, technically. Oh, lord. The question is, does he have enough counter blast at this point? That's true. Does, uh, does the Unflipping um, Perfect Guard state you can guard with uh, any clan? Yes. Alright, so... They've been trying. They've been doing that since 616 on, with the new Perfect right. Guards. That's good. Mm, the, Revenger, the Revenger player at this point kind of... Did this time a bit too long, it has kind of ran out of place, I think, to do. Yeah. Because even I wouldn't know what to do. That's actually my one problem with Avengers. It steams out at the worst times. Yeah, I mean, they get they they, they they dig their way to, like, an island, and then they have no way to get out of the island. Yeah, like, I remember using that Avengers thing multiple times. Like, I hit, I hit the high point, and then afterwards, it's like, crap, what do I do? Yeah. Oh, he goes for a re-ride. I mean, technically yes, he could he could go for the Legion retire, but yeah. But the question is, oh wait, that's actually a really bad idea. What what he's doing? No, the the Legion retire. I mean, no, no, the the Legion ability. Why do you call the unit behind the? Huh? Why do you call it the draw trigger? I think his aim is that he's gonna retire his back row. Oh, I see what. You and mean. put all the triggers onto the Mordred. But, but wouldn't that? But wouldn't that leave the Mordred open for locking? I feel at like this, that's like no. At this point, it can't matter. I think he's trying to aim to win the game right here, right now. Ah. Uh, but even then, I think he misplayed with Garrett because you've got to account for one important thing. What? Taboo. That's very true. Because with Taboo, you can't even get his effect off. Nope. Because Taboo redirects the attack to a rear guard. Yeah, and then most unhitting restanders, or most restanders require you to attack the vanguard first. Yep. Very few require you to hit anything. Definitely a very misplay. Well, well, we'll see the results. He might not have a taboo. Or he might just not know the fact of that. 
he is no guarding it, it looks. He's aiming for or counter thinking. blast? No, he's already at 4 damage, I'm pretty sure. He's aiming for the- he's aiming for a Saki 5th damage? I don't know, that's well, a very again, dangerous well, way to go to 5. Well then again, you also got, we also gotta account for the fact that he should have like a lot of 3's in hand. That is very true. Yeah, he does oh, yeah, have Taboo. He's going for the Taboo redirect and that cancels the Legion ability altogether. Yeah. In other words, it's pretty much a waste of Legion. But ironically, in exchange, he does get that. He does keep his booster, so that's a 26k column right there. It's only no 21. He got right, one trigger. Right, 21k column. Right, right. Well, still, a, still a good number to hit. Yeah. The question. Hopefully, his. Ho oh wait, no. He, he has oh, to take he, it. Oh, he took it. So one, two damage. Ow. So that puts him at five right now. Mm. I can see. He's at five damage. Oh, so he was at three before then. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's, yeah, I think it, I think it, I think it, I think it's gonna go off now. But does he have a world line? Like I said before, I know he had a colony maker in hand. He drove check it, unless he discarded it for like a perf guard or something. At this point, I think he actually has enough threes to do to play. Mhm. Mm Cause he does have one on board. I think he's just counting his the ones in his drop zone currently. Just to double check. Yeah. Mm. For rune magician, he wants to be able to add two. He's just gonna look mad dirty now. Yeah. Come on, man. There's not much to think at this point. <laughs> yeah. He's definitely bidding for slow time right now. Seems a little almost unfair, if anything. Uh, well, I'm calling him out so hard. Yeah. But I'm not allowed to do that. God damn it. <laughs> I think he's probably just wondering what to stride with currently. <laughs> Maybe a cradle. <laughs> so <laughs> Like, we're at spice in right now. I'm like, I'm, that's some... That's some dirty ass bullshit. I'm calling right now. Yeah. And oh. he's starting using a daunt. A dauntless reverse. Go into a mega loop. <laughs> Not really much going on now. Millennius does take a while to think though. I mean, I guess, but there's just that there's there's just that some certain points where you can where you can easy to stop thinking about the play when it looks too obvious. Yeah. It it looks like uh it looks like the trap pile and player trying to understand how this uh omega loop works. Yeah. Because of Hiyaki verse behind the vanguard. He needs two more reverses. Unless he's going for a cheap lock. He could be. Because cause since he is at I 5... I think he's doing that. Yep, cheap blocking. So that means that means triangle right there. Yep. And uh, Yeah, because if he had... um, He wouldn't be able to use calling the Maker's Effect. Oh, no. He's choosing to lock out L. Alright. That's interesting. You might... Hmm. Unusual, unusual lock, but... Oh, well. Yeah. Unless he, unless he actually... Unless he has a, a crit trigger and a photon. Or, yeah. Or two photons. That look pretty nasty. That would just be mean. <laughs> that would be bullying. Yo, is it just me or does Hiyaki look like he's trying to dab? <laughs> Yo, he Hiyaki's literally like <laughs> I'm pretty sure his blade. Hold on, hold on. He yeah, you're gonna look up Hiyaki Vogue right now. Yes. You didn't even spell it right. I don't know how to spell Hiyaki. H Y K K I. I'm looking up Yaki as we speak. Oh my god. Yeah, it looks like he's dabbing! <laughs> oh my god. Like, he got it! <laughs> Yo, Hiyaki's trying to dab. Uh, this is crazy. So he did dab before dab was a thing. Yo, Hiyaki's dabbing before. Hiyaki's OG right here. Oh, yeah, man. Can we actually have to make a dabbing reference right now? What? I can we actually make that joke right now? He... You can't deny it. That is a dab. Hiyaki is dabbing on him. Oh boy. Oh my god. Hiyaki Dabin. How many minutes has it been? This game's honestly been going on now. It's for only game one! It is still only game one, and it has been 20 minutes so far. And I already knocked out this random thing. Mine. There's still a lot of attacking happening here. Uh, 
I think he chose not to attack with that column. The elite swung with his vanguard? Mm-hmm. Oh, he did yeah. that? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, man, this game is so slow. I'm losing track of everything. Yeah, Jeez. this is... Like, I'm sorry, really folks. players taking way too I'm long sorry, folks. Turns. When, you, when you slow play, I'll almost ignore you because it's really hard to focus. And now the, the Link Joker player can't... Or, um, the Shadow, Shadow player. player can't really do much. Just dropping perfect guards. And attacking. But to be fair, they are Omega Lock, so he could just do another Omega Loop right now, right? If he has Karen Blast for yes. Would he be able to Omega Loop? Omega Loop requires two Karen Blasts. Alright. I, I'm pretty sure he has that. It looks like he, has, he just used it. I mean, I mean, it looks like he has two cameras open. I so think I he guess has so. four. No, he has three at least now. All right, so let's see what you can do. Yeah. The question is, does he have enough? Does he have another three to do it? That's also true. Well, now at least he could use calling maker for room magician. Yeah, but that's like two camera blasts away. You already wasted. But he has four camera blasts face up. I only see three. No, because he's at five. Unless he healed. Oh, he, he did heal. Mm. That's right. So he can't even. Well, then, you know, Omega Lock requires four, four, four damage. Yeah. No, no, no. The, the World End takes five damage. So he, he would just. It's better off if he just World Ended. Or, um, mm. Glendios Omega Lock. Well, he does have his Limber Break, at least. Does yeah. he use it? Nope, he's going for a stride. And he into goes another loop. The, the Fruit Loop. Alright, and then he and then he locks out those two those two circles. Mm -hmm. And now they're Omega locked. So by this definition, the Revenger player potentially only has one turn left. No. Cause those three are gonna unlock. No, I think it omega locks the board. Does it? Yeah. No way. Like any card that's locked will get Omega locked, I believe that's how it works. That's actually really good. Oh well, gosh. that's regular Glen Dios. There you go. Yeah, um, let's see. Can I ask two, if you have a heart, Glen Dios, rear guards. Oh, you have to get five or more damage for the Omega Lock to happen? Oh, so they're not even Omega Locked? Hmm, that's weird. Oh, well. Yeah. Wow. This attack, this attack pattern looks so awkward. <laughs> it is very awkward. Uh, no, I think, I think he is at five damage. Yeah, that's what I was saying. No, I'm pretty sure he's at five damage. He he didn't heal, and now and now the fish out player is trying to double check to make sure that this, this that if the, that if this is all true. See, this is what you gotta do, players. Read, just like yeah. what this guy's doing. This is how you be a good player. Reading does a lot of the work. And it looks like he gives up game one because he he knows he's gonna lose no matter what. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, is there even enough time for a game two?